Hello everyone, welcome to Lara Tips. In our previous video, we completed the CRUD for permission and roles and we applied some of the roles and permissions to the menus and the CRUD operations. Then we did some refactoring. And in this video, we'll be making CRUD operation for users. And before starting this video, I'd like you to introduce to this whole series sponsor, which is Cloudways. Cloudways is a managed cloud hosting platform which focuses on your business and avoid all the web hosting hassles. Cloudways will take care of the server setup for you. And you can go live in minutes using the Cloudways. You can select any one of these applications like WordPress, Laravel, PHP, etc. And you can host those in any one of these server like DigitalOcean, AWS, Vulture, Google Cloud or Linode. And also you can scale your server size as you need using the simple and easy user interface. You can use the link below to subscribe to Cloudways. And if you do so, you will get $15 as a credit. And you can use that $15 to set up a base server and it will last you almost a month, which means that you are getting one month free. Now let's get started. Let us go to the permission controller and let us duplicate this. But before that, let me go to roles cedar and here we have these users i'll just change these users to user because everywhere we have used singular so here also we'll use singular now here in the permissions controller here also we haven't used this route resource name in the other process rather than this index method so we'll just go here whenever we are returning this route like here we can just change this route resource name and we can just change this to double quote and similarly we can go here also we can just change this to double quote here also just see here this arrow route resource similarly let us go to roles controller and let me just try to copy this thing from it because it is going to be same so i'll go here and paste this code over here update like this and similarly i think in case of the role here it is different so i'll just do here like this and here i just change it this route resource name now i'll go here in the permission controller and i'll duplicate this one because in roles we have certain additional things that were added a little bit later so we'll duplicate this one now i'll just say duplicate and in case of permissions i'll just say here users like this and you can see here this users controller is just created alongside this permissions controller now here i'll just source for permission and i'll replace this permission let me only source for this exact match over here like this with the case sensitive feature and then i'll replace it with user and replace everything similarly for the capital p we'll just change this u into capital u and replace all now you can see here on the right hand side there are some red marking which is showing us there are some errors let me go here then here is no user models and we already have the user model whenever we installed laravel the user model is always present i'll just import it i think we imported permissions but it was from a different thing it was from spassy yeah so here instead of spassy user i'll just write app like this and then it should not throw us any error so after writing this we can see here some other errors over here if we go here then we don't have user resource so let me go to permission resource and let me just duplicate it and instead of permission resource i'll just say here user resource and then i'll just write here user resource so here in the users controller did i change here yeah so here is the user resource and we have id name and if we go here in the users table then we also have email so i'll just do here email like this and if we have passed email from the controller then only we want to show it so i'll just say here this when this email then this email like this and it means that whenever this email is present it is not a false value then only this row will be sent to the response otherwise it will not be sent similarly let us do the same thing for name as well i'll just remove this name and here i'll just say let me write here name like this for id we always want this to be present so we'll not do anything over here we also have this created at formatted and we have this scan similarly let's see if there is anything so email verified at i think we also want to know if the user is verified or not so i'll just say here is email verified 
and then we can say here this when this email verified at and here we can say return this email verified is not equal to null if this is not null then the email will be verified otherwise it will not be verified similarly here in case of permission we'll write here user like this i don't think we have anything to change over here then if i go here in the users controller then that issue is gone now if we check here in the another issue then there is this user request so let me go to permission request and let me just duplicate it and here also i'll just write here users request and here i'll just replace the name and here in case of permission i'll just say here user and let me also go to admin here and let me just duplicate it and let's say here users and user controller like this and this thing is already imported over here now here will be the user and we'll get a model in the edit and here instead of permission we have to write users but instead of that we can write the class so user class like this so let us go here in the roles request also let us do that so here i can say role we can select this spicy permission models class like this similarly we can go over here in the permission also and we can just change this to permission class like this it will work the same way now here we have this name here will be name will be required string max this and we don't want name to be unique so i'll not add this over here similarly i'll add other rules as well so here i have added email email will be required and this bail means let me also write here bail it means that whenever something wrongs happen over here let's say the email is not entered by the user then it will stop over here it will not execute this but if i don't write here bail then it will run every rules you can just increase the performance of your application a little bit by using bail and we're just making sure that the email is unique similarly we have this password rule and this password rule will be this if there is a model which means that if we are in the edit page then we want this password to be nullable and if we are in the create page of the users then we want those passwords to be required because let's say when editing a user the admin doesn't want to change the password then we want these things to be nullable so i'll write here nullable and i'll just import this password facade and i am writing here defaults like this because i'll make a default rule in the app service provider if i show you here in the documentation then we can see here if i write this thing in the app service provider let me go to app service provider like this over here and i'll just write it over here like this let me import this password and if i do it like this then whenever i write defaults over here then it will automatically apply all this case suppose let's say we are in the production then we want maximum protection for the passwords that user enter into our application but whenever we are testing we just want this to be anything that we want so we'll just keep simple rule for the local and for production it will be very very strong similarly we can also do here let's say number and we can also say symbols like this now after this let us go to this user request then I have added a password confirmation, which means that whenever the admin creates a user, then they must add password confirmation field as well. And it will be same as that of the password. And similarly, there will be a role ID and it must exist in the roles table. And it is also required. After this, if I go here in the users controller, then there is no any issue. If you look here, everything looks pretty good. We'll just keep it like this. And whenever we create the UI and hit submit, then we'll change this over here. Okay. Because we need to do some changes over here. Now, let me go to the UI. And if I show you here, we don't have any users menu over here. So I'll just go here, handle inertia request over here. Then I'll just duplicate it here, here under the menus. I'll just duplicate it. And instead of roles, I'll say, users and here instead of roles i'll say users like this now if i come here and refresh the page then i'm seeing this call to undefined method password broker defaults and it is here in the app service provider okay provider this is the password and this password is eliminate support password but it shouldn't be this it should be this eliminate validation rules password so i'll just come here and refresh the page then everything is working perfectly fine and we have this users menu 
but if we click on this then we'll get an error so let us create the index and create file for the users as well on the views set so i'll just go here in the users controller over here then we can see here in the index space we'll just fix this as well so here let us just pass email also in the headers so i'll just say here email headers and i'll also say here let's say role similarly we will face the users like this id name email and we have this relationship roles and this is coming from this user if you see here inside this has roles it is coming from the spacy permission package okay so here we will say we will only select id and name roles.id and roles.name and similarly we are just looking at the request and here if there is a name then we will just filter by the name and then we are ordering the latest one then we are seeing in the users index then users resource then we have passed here name email role created at actions on the filters we have everything resource name and then create user so i'll go here in the permission index view and i'll just copy it and paste it over here and then i'll just rename it to user like this here inside let us go to this index page and if we search for permission then we don't have anything related to permission over here because we made it very very dynamic now here let me just go over here and refresh the page and then try to click on the users then we will see these things name email role created at and actions but this thing is just not showing properly so let us fix this i'll go here in the index and here in the tables i'll just duplicate these the second one will be email and let us just say here roles here for the time being and if i come here and refresh the page then we'll see here this editor and here role we are not seeing anything and if i come here and see in the dev tools if i just so see here and in the index we have this items data object and here we have this can email id name so let us go to this user resource and we haven't sent any roles from here so i'll say roles role resource collection this when loaded roles which means that whenever the roles are loaded here in this controller like this then only we'll pass it now if i come here and refresh the page then we'll be able to see this but we don't want these to be visible like this so we'll use buttons to make these visible now let me go here in the index and i think we already have imported buttons okay let me see. yeah we already have now let me just go over here and let me just say here button b for sorry not here we want this to be visible over here like this and b for role in item dot roles and key will be role dot id and if you check here there is the name property over here so we'll just show here role dot name like this now you can see here we have this editor and super admin bot it is looking very very bulky so let us make this a little bit smaller for that let us go here in the button component and let us pass here small and we want this to make this button small so i'll just go here in the button component and here i'll accept small as a prop type will be boolean and default will be false so that it will not affect all the other buttons that we had created before now here let me just create a class for it const size class and we'll create a computed property like this and then here we'll return props dot small then we'll return something otherwise we'll return something now here we'll change this thing okay so for the normal case we'll just do it like this and here i'll just add it i'll say here let's say classes dot value and i'll change this to classes as well and here let me just do it like this so if it is a small then we'll say here px1 and round it and in this case it will be like this similarly let us add one blue also blue over here and now if i just go over here in the index and then let me just say here color equals to blue and let me format it and now if i come here and refresh the page 
then we can see here the role is like this now let us search over here let's say editor then it is only searching for editor and admin then only it is searching for admin we'll also add filters for email and the roles i think we'll add that in the next episode and guys the video is getting too long so i'll continue it as a separate part in the next video so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye